What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, now open again for indoor dining. We're going behind the orange curtain on Tuesday for the second round CIF Division 5 playoff game. That's a canonized clash between the Saints of St. Anthony and the Saints of Crane Lutheran. St. Anthony won its first round game at home last week after its second league title in the last four seasons. And Crane Lutheran, always a good, solid squad, doing the basketball starting lineups before this game. Gotta say, that's a first for me. St. Anthony looked up for this one in the first inning. Jason Porter leads it off with a seeing eye single to the right side, so they got something cooking. Niall Omiti up next, and he's also going to the right side where that eats him up, and the ball gets away. Porter down at second. He's gonna try to take that extra 90, but a great throw from Crean Lutheran shuts him down and quells that early rally. St. Anthony going with senior Chris Jones on the bump, and in this one, he looked sharp early on. Not a lot of hard contact from Crean Lutheran in the first two innings, and they end up being two scoreless innings. But then the third inning happened. Kareem Lutheran is going to load the bases with no outs after an infield single, a walk, and this bunt that St. Anthony can't handle. Jones goes after the next batter, but the ball gets away. Here comes the runner. It's going to be bang, bang at the plate. He is called safe and lets everybody know about it. A game-changing play for sure because Jones cut his index finger on his throwing hand on the play. If you don't know much about pitching, that one's kind of important. You could tell it was bothersome for him because very quickly, Kareem Lutheran strung a few hits together to chase Jones. They end up scoring eight runs in the frame while they batted around much to the home crowd's enjoyment. Kareem Lutheran taking an 8-0 lead in a flash. St. Anthony had plenty of chances to put up big innings as well. 12 runners on base in this one. Like here in the fourth, they had two on with no outs, but another runner is thrown out at third base to end the inning. Back over there was the Bermuda Triangle for Saints runners. Kareen Lutheran was also able to bring in a pair of live arms late in the game to keep St. Anthony chasing it. And then they scored seven more while batting around in the sixth to win 15-0. Still a nice season for St. Anthony despite the final result today. And you've got some key returners coming back for the Saints next year to try to take this program on another step further under head coach Chris Jondal. Thanks, as always, to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And make sure you stick with 562.org for all of your local sports coverage.